what is up youtube my name is aditya and welcome back to our channel the indian algo and uh, this video is going to be a series it is going to be the start of the series where i will teach you how to analyze everything from the higher time frame to the lower time frame this is where a lot of people do not understand how to uh, look at the charts how to approach the charts and this is where i'll try to uh bridge the gap between what you are missing on because there's a very big problem that everyone is facing as of now and that is not understanding where the price is going on the higher time frame and if you cannot understand that there is no possible way that you will be able to succeed uh obviously there could be a possible way but the probability will be very less as a newbie you will not understand why this fall occurred wherein if you uh, if you follow me on instagram if you follow uh, us on uh, the telegram group the link will be down in the description you will see that we share these informations uh, way too before like this was an expected fall this was not at all something that uh, it's random no things will change prices will definitely go back up i am not expecting a crash but why does the price comes back down Okay, so these are the things that you need to understand. So, how are we supposed to approach the price uh, as we start looking at a new chart? So, I'll try to do two to three charts. Okay, so let's say we have the daily time frame here of Nifty. So, as soon as we come on this chart, there are a few things that you need to understand. You need to mark, and that will allow you to take uh, trades in that direction. So. number one thing is to identify the areas of liquidity the most important areas of liquidity and the most obvious areas of liquidity so if you see here this high right this high this high and this low right this low has an important area where there is an obvious amount of liquidity now these are very obvious lows and highs now what i i'm supposed to do is mark the equal lows that i see on the chart mark the equal lows and equal highs so if you see there is uh, there is there is some sign of equal highs and equal lows here so i would go with this high and expect this to be something that will resist in future okay that will act as a as an area of liquidity okay so the price comes from here to here and now if you see the price this low is still protected and this is an obvious area of liquidity if you see what nifty did today was it gave you a rally at the end of the day there was a rally at the end of the day which would uh, which would uh, induce a lot of buyers to take btst trades and expect the markets to go higher but if you see india 50 is down 339 points okay so it was at 15800 the pricing now stands at 15000 somewhere uh, 15700 somewhere so probably the price has come back and i am expecting these lows to be hunted once again which low am i expecting here to be hunted is this particular low right here this is a weekly low right so once again if i mark it properly yes this is the low that i am expecting for the prices to to be taken out now what is the next thing that i am supposed to mark the next thing is to mark the gaps very important here is to mark the gaps so in such cases when you have bigger gaps like this you can consider the 50% of the gap and you can expect that this 50% will be filled so even this gap is an area of liquidity even this gap is an area of liquidity uh, if you see here when the prices were trading here there was this gap so the price filled that gap couldn't break above it comes back down right and it creates a gap even here so let's see once the price takes out these lows <coughs> once the price takes out these lows there is a good possibility there is a good possibility that the prices will move back higher and this gap could be filled this gap could be filled very easily right so this is what we can expect and make trade idea so you don't have to take trades every single day you need to understand where the prices are heading and if you are not following this if you are not following this series and if you are not following these parts of uh, whatever parts that i'll be uploading you will realize that eventually your higher time frame analysis will reach nowhere because this exercise is very important 
if you do not understand this exercise it will be useless and trust me you will still be not able to understand how to approach a chart and identify things on higher time frame right so this is very important if you can do so if you can follow these things then definitely you will see a lot of changes in your approach now what we do next is we go to the 4 hour time frame and we look for liquidity voids if you are not aware of what liquidity voids and imbalances are I'll try to put uh, put the link in the description. Uh, you can check out my previous videos where I have explained what are liquidity voids and imbalances. So liquidity voids and imbalances are the fast movement, fast price movements, right? Fast price movements. So if you see here, uh, in these cases, you have gaps here, right? You have gaps here. So this is on the one hour time frame. You can still mark these gaps. You can still mark these gaps. And once the price starts sustaining above this uh, uh, imbalance, you can see the prices can approach this area and this is where it will start actually, it will start getting resistance. It will eventually start getting resistance. However, if it breaks above and starts sustaining, then you can see another move higher to take out this high, liquidity above this high. So we have to approach things this way, right? So I will leave these things on the chart here. I will leave these things on the chart here as of now. And this was your approach. This is the first exercise that you are supposed to do. Now, trust me on this. You need to see. Okay, this is very important. I am giving you. I am not. I won't be able to give you something that is like if you do it in a uh, like just do it this way and you will start making money. There is nothing as such. I had to go through through this process and this is like a mentorship, uh, probably where I am explaining you how to approach a chart. How to develop the psychology and how, how to develop your mindset to understand where the prices could head towards in the future. Now what you need to do is you need to look at these price levels in real time. In real time as in you have to forward test this. Test this. You cannot back test this. You have to forward test this. You will have to put your time in this. You will have to understand. Okay. Just look at the levels and see how magnetic uh, I mean like how these things, these levels will pull the prices towards them. These things are very important. So in, so if this was not here, I would have also marked these equal lows and you would have seen that how the price fell off from here to here. And this was not something that is random. This is not something that is random. This is not, as of now, I'm once again expecting the prices to go a little bit lower and then push higher or if it goes higher, okay, that is a different analysis, how you do it and what all things we follow. That is a different analysis. It comes later on. But let's say you have this thing that the market structure is bearish, price goes up and the price are here. And this is an important level, right? How I explain this is an important area. So if the price resists around this area, now you know that where the prices could head. Are you expecting higher prices? No. Why are you expecting higher prices? When you see that this low was not taken out. So you should be a little bearish because the structure is also bearish. The trend is also bearish. So at this point, if you take a short position, this is high probable. This is very high probable, right? So even if you trade only on this day, you will be profitable at the end of the month. So you need to decide what is the best uh, time for me to trade. You need to decide. You, you cannot trade every single day. You cannot day trade every single day. You can scalp every single day. But to be a profitable day, day trader, you need to understand that there is a lot of things that you have to uh, take into consideration. And scalping is not an easy job. It's very tough. So things will come, but you need to give it time. So this is how I need to approach a chart. Now, if I go to ONGC, let's have a look at ONGC. Uh, ONGC, right here. Okay. I'll go to the daily time frame and I will try to mark the most obvious. So what do we have here? We have uh, uh, we have here equal highs. So I will mark these equal highs. So I, what I'm doing here is I'm marking the most obvious areas of liquidity. So this is one low here. Now, if I go to, uh, let's see what all things do we have? Nothing. Let's go to four hour time frame. And if you see, we have a gap here, right? There, there was a good imbalance that was created by the market. So the gap is yet to fill. So the gap is yet to fill. Let's see if the price comes back. <coughs> sorry. If the price comes back around this level and it starts taking support somewhere here. Okay. Somewhere here, it starts taking support. 
and this is where you wait for structures to form and then you start taking long trades okay then you start taking long trades you are not supposed to be someone who is randomly entering a trade we can also push lower because the major structure here is bearish one second the major structure here is bearish so you need to understand that instead of taking longs a bearish move would be high probable so if this takes support it could be a lower time frame something and if the price is not any uh, so let's say what i would prefer the best thing i would do is to wait for the price to retrace and create this as a low then break this low once again retrace and this is where i would try to enter a short trade and you will see a big fall so you need to understand these things and if you see i would have also marked these equal highs so these equal highs were hunted the price already fell lower so at this point you could have taken in uh, you could have taken uh, intraday trades on this basis okay let's go to upl so now you have to select four five charts and then mark these areas on the chart mark these areas on the chart so let's say if you am looking at upl and if i was looking at upl when i had marked this low and i was seeing that the structures were doing this and i had a possibility that the prices could simply go into some gap here and this is where we can see a fall this is where i need to understand what i am looking for where is the price supposed to head for liquidity if you see we have two equal highs as of now so by any chance okay so this low was also taken out if you see there is a gap if you see there is a gap so this will act as resistance so it's not that i will simply take a structure break trade no this is not going to happen price will go back up resist this point and probably fall down once again so there's a possibility of the price falling lower but i would feel that looking at this price action if the price somehow turns bullish i will start looking for long positions and then i know that if i am into a long position at any of the days it it's, it doesn't matter which day i am looking for i mean like there should be a setup that is supposed to frame your idea towards your trade only then you will be able to capture this long right so you need to wait for a lot of things you need to understand where the price could head and you need to see this happening this is very important if you are not able to see this occur so you have to wait for forward testing so if you see we have two equal lows right around this area if you see we had equal lows around this point as well so these equal lows were hunted but when you have these things marked on the chart you will again wait for the prices to take out these lows and then you see that okay we have equal highs around this point as well and then this high and then you can expect the prices to first take out this high and then this high okay so you need to forward test things if you are able to forward test if you have enough patience to see this occur live in the mark live as in you need to wait for a few days and then suddenly you will understand where the prices are pushing if they are pushing higher or lower so if you see this if you see this we have equal highs the price goes up into an imbalance area it hunts the highs and it comes back so now you know that the prices are supposed to fall lower to take out this low so at this point what i would prefer is i would be having a bearish bias at this point in ioc now i need a straight setup that frames my idea of this falling lower it's not that i just have a bias so if, as soon as the market opens on at 915 i will simply take a short position no you need to wait for a setup let's say you have a fibonacci setup let's say you have a quasimodo setup where you are expecting that the price can fall so if that idea follows up with this idea only then taking a trade in this direction will be high probable okay so you can share these things you can share the follow up with me uh, in the discord group it's uh, i will look at it and i'll let you know what all things that you are marking is correct or not or where the uh, idea of your uh, trade could follow up right so these are the few things that we need to look for and yes so the description for the same will be down in the sorry the link will be link for the same will be down in the description you can have a look you can comment if you like the video guys so make sure don't uh, forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new here and share the video as much as you can the second part will be up in two days 
where I'll tell you what is the next approach of understanding structure, what is the next approach of understanding your point of interest and then initiating trades on the same basis. Right, so thank you so much guys. Have a nice day.